In this tutorial, we'll create our first interaction in Articulate Engage 360, and then we'll add some content to it. Now be sure to download the practice files. What you get is some images and videos, and then we have some practice text that you can copy and paste. And before we get started, let's look at a published example, and then I'll show you how to build that. What we have right here is a media panel interaction, and this is our introduction section, and down here we have different media. So you can see we have some text, I have an image, I can click on the image, zoom in, I can click and it zooms out, and then down here I can click on different media. So I can click on pictures, I can click on this, and this actually plays a video. Now let's go ahead and open up an Engage interaction and start to build this, and I'll show you how this all works. So we're in Engage. First thing we need to do is click on New Interaction. And this opens up a panel where you can see the different types of interactions. We're going to scroll down and choose Media Panel. So I click on that, hit OK. So let's preview this interaction to see what it looks like, and then we'll look at how to actually work in it. Click on Preview. And this opens up the interaction. You can see it looks pretty good, and we haven't even done anything. And essentially, you're going to click on an image, and that'll open up these different panels. Now this is all placeholder content, so you'll, you'll be able to change that and add your own. So let's go ahead and close the preview. The production area is, is pretty simple in Engage, and all the interactions basically work the same way. So you've got your steps, and regardless of the type of interaction you choose, the steps production is always the same. So right now we're doing a media panel, so these represent the different media. If you did a label graphics, then these would represent the different labels. And then over here we have our text. Uh, if you want to record audio, you can add that here, or you can import audio if you already have some recorded. And then down here we have the place to add images and videos. So let's go ahead and build out our interaction, and then we, we'll see what we get. So first thing we do is we'll uh, come up to the interaction title. So I have this text box, uh, and this is in your practice files. You can use this, or you can use your own text. I'm just going to copy and paste from this. One thing you'll notice is this is the introduction area here, and then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five different um, panels or steps. Now, right now you can see we have an introduction in four, so we're going to have to add a fifth one. So let's go ahead and click on Add. Let me move this out of the way. So we're going to go ahead and add that fifth one here. So let's go to Introduction, and let's change the um, interaction title first. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. Comstar Real Estate. So we have our panel title, our title of the interaction. And then the introduction, that's going to be that 1204 Comstar Lane. So I'm just going to copy and paste that in here. And then I'm going to copy and paste the information for the introduction. And we're not going to do any formatting or anything. We're just going to keep everything the way it is. And uh, the last thing we'll do is we'll add a picture. This was the main house picture, so I'm going to click on this down here to add a picture. Go to my file, and I can see here's my house picture. I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And we're going to go ahead and keep all of this by default. In the other tutorials, we'll show you how to work with the different properties. So let's go ahead and preview this. So we have our title, and then here's our introduction content. We're going to go ahead and add uh, the rest of these now. So let's close the preview. And let's fill out steps first. So I think our steps were living room. Now you can click in here and type in living room, right? And you'll see that it actually populates up here as well. Or if on the next step, uh, which is the foyer, you can come in here and type in the foyer. And you can see that it also uh, fills in here. So there's two ways you can do that. So go ahead and type in the content. I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll get back to it. All right, so I have all the steps titled in here, and you can see them listed. And I'm going to go to Living Room, and I'm going to start adding in the content for all of the steps. So you go ahead and do that on your own as well. So let's go ahead and do the first one. And I'm going to finish these up. All right, and we're on the last step. I'm going to go ahead and add that in here. And now we can see that we have our text for each step. And the last thing we need to do is we need to add our images. So we're going to go to the living room. And there's a couple ways you can do this. So one way is just click on the X, and that takes you to the starting position here. And just click on the picture icon. And I'm going to choose living room. 
hit OK. And I would click on the X if I had this placeholder, for example. I would click on the X if I want to go to different media, right? Um, in this case, we don't need to do that. Otherwise, I can just click on this link here and that will just take me to the pictures. So I can go right to the folder and change the image if it's the same type of media, or I can cancel this out, come to the startup, and then I can choose the media I want. So again, we'll use the picture, living room. I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of these. So foyer, which we have here, and you can go ahead and do that as well. And then on this last one, we're actually going to insert a video. So I'm going to click on the X and I'm going to insert a video. And I'm going to choose Video from File. And here's my placeholder video. And so now we have the video. And again, we're not going to worry about all the properties here. We'll learn about that in a different tutorial. So let's go ahead and preview this interaction and see what we have. So here's our introduction. We have a title. We have our text. And down here we have our different images. So we can see that they're all filled in. And then here's our video. All right, so when you're done building out your interaction and you're ready to publish, all you have to do is go up to Publish. And you'll notice you have a few different options. So one is if you're working with Articulate Presenter, you can publish into your existing PowerPoint file. If you're publishing for Articulate 360 and you want to review that, you can do that up here. Then you have publishing for the web and then you have some other options here. And the other thing I'll point out is that when you go to publish, you can publish different ways. So if you click on the HTML with flash fallback, you'll notice that you can publish just as HTML, HTML5 with flash for the older browsers, or you can publish to flash by default with HTML5 as an option or just flash. So you can see you've got a few different options to do that to really enhance your mobile delivery. So otherwise you make your decisions, go ahead and hit publish, and then you'll have a published output and it should look something like this then you should have a course that looks something like this right here. And that's basically it. So when you're working with Articulate Engage, the production process is pretty simple. Just add your steps, your text, and your audio and media, and then hit Publish. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump into the community and ask, and then watch the other tutorials to learn more about the specifics of working with the interactions.